Yo, this is Soul Drum 86 bringing you another video. Yes, another action figure video. Um, hope you guys are ready for this, man. Like, I always like to reiterate, just in case people forget, I do I do action figure stuff too. This is not strictly a gaming channel. Um, I was gonna make a separate video like on why I haven't uploaded any WWE 2K videos in a while. Um, I'm not done with that, by the way. But for for the time being. Like, I'm just having a lot of fun with AEW Fight Forever. Um, but the AEW Fight Forever videos might slow down a little bit, but the content on the channel itself won't be slowing down. I still got, like, by the time this video comes out, I probably have, like, two more AEW Fight Forever videos coming. Um, but then, you know, right now I am playing Spider-Man. Like, I record everything ahead of time. So all of the AEW videos that you guys have seen were recorded like about two weeks ago, but they're all scheduled to release. Whenever there's a dynamite, I released it on a dynamite. Whenever there's a rampage or a um, collision, I've been having them released. They're all scheduled, so they're they're all done. They're just like being scheduled. But what slowed everything down is Spider Man Two is out, and I'm loving every minute of Spider Man Two. That video game is so cinematic, so cinematic. It is beautiful. Um, it, it, it just, it's so fun to play, man. So like, that's kind of been taking up my gaming time. Like I don't have the time to play like multiple games all at the same time. So wrestling content is not going to stop. Um, I don't, the reason why I don't put up gameplay of other video games, really, I've done it a couple times. Like when I've talked about Mortal Kombat, but that's only because I was talking about Mortal Kombat. Um, it's because this isn't strictly a gaming channel. If I was a gaming channel, then I would have uploaded like everything I've done in Spider-Man so far. Um, I'm planning on getting RoboCop next week. So it's like, and I'm, I'm hopefully I should have Spider-Man beat by the time I Robo I get RoboCop because I like playing one game at a time. So I'm definitely going to wait until I actually beat Spider-Man 2 before I get RoboCop. But yeah, I'm getting RoboCop and all that other stuff. So bear with me, man. Bear with me, man. If you dig me, You'll stick around, and I'll appreciate every last minute of it, man. But I wanted to do a video. I've done videos like this in the past, but I was, like, looking around at my collection, and I was like, you know what? I don't really want to do, like, a top 10. I kind of want to... I want to do, like, um, my favorite figures that I have in my collection, but it, it, it's not just my favorite figures. It's, like, it's my favorite figures, but figures that I'm very, very happy to have. I guess you could say, like, my grail my grail uh, fig figures that I that I own. Um, some characters might be left off that need to be on here for me, and I'm trying to look around at my collection now to see if there was if there's anybody that I would like put in this uh, put on in this video. I'm trying to take a gander, I think I might for the most part at least have everybody. That I'm getting ready to show you. But yeah, so this is kind of, it's not a top 10 or anything. I don't even know how many figures are next to me right now. Um, it's not like a top 10, but it's just my favorite figures that Mattel made. And they're they're my favorite ones that, they're the ones that I'm very happy to have in my collection. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, you know what? Hold on. I got to do something real quick. And I hope I'm not in the shot when I do this. <laughs> I know y'all can see my shadow. All right. Okay. Okay. So let's All right. Now we can uh now we can get this video started. <laughs> all right. So, the first figure that I'm going to show and there's a reason why I had to get two more figures. Now, this is my newest figure that I got, which is Da, 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 da. Mr. Perfect from the Legends line. Look at how beautiful it is, right? Look at Mr. Perfect. Look at Mr. Per oh, by the way, I know a lot of people are kind of hating on this. I like this. How you can pull the straps down. It's not fabric or anything, but you can pull the straps down. He comes with the Intercontinental title, so I didn't do that. Hopefully, let's get this to, like, focus. I know the figures in the back are kind of making it go all crazy. Um, he comes with the 
a towel, you know, nice little soft goods. Now, my only complaint with these Mr. Perfect figures, right? Um, I love the face too, like that. This is like this. This is I love when they use this face. They've used this face kind of before. This is a new sculpt. He was. It's like they used this face before, but they didn't. It is new. I don't think they 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 didn't necessarily use this one, but I'm I'm, I'm gonna get to that. My only complaint with this figure though is uh, with all of the Mister Perfect figures, I think he's a little too little. Like he's a little too small. Uh, Mister Perfect had some weight on him you know what i mean like he was a muscular dude but he also had like body fat you know what i mean ain't no shame in that There's a lot of wrestlers look like that some wrestlers look like that today where it's like you can tell they got muscles but they got just a little bit a little bit of that body fat you know what i mean like his arms was big his legs were pretty big like this he just i don't know if it comes across good on camera but he just comes across a little too small for me that's just just my opinion so okay let's pull in this Mr. Perfect that came out. See, it's like it's not the same face, but they kind of got. I, I would say this is the next best face that they've done for Mr. Perfect because his face is like full. Again, pointing out the fact that Kurt Henning has some body fat to him and these faces are perfect for that. He's just doing more of a smile here. This, by the way, was the Mr. Perfect that came in the uh, GameStop. Um what was it? The uh, GameStop exclusive where they all came in that like arcade packaging. And so then there's the Heenan family, Mr. Perfect, which in my opinion is the worst Mr. Perfect. I was just happy to have him at the time because I wanted a Mr. Perfect. Um, I dig the ring attire, but again, his body's too small. And... Uh, that face. It looks like Kurt Henning, but he's just it just he's a smaller version of, of Kurt Henning. And I like a lot of people wanted this new Legends one to have the molded singlet, but here's the thing. When he, when they already make his body small like this, this actually at least makes his body look fuller like it's supposed to. It's Mr. Perfect, like I said, he was a he's a big guy. Like I, to be honest with you, I think they they mess up Bret Hart in that way too. The Bret Hart action figures um, aren't big enough. I think they make Bret Hart way too small. Um, you know, Bret Hart has some weight to him, man. Like, look, go look at a Bret Hart video. Look at his shoulders alone. Like, just look at Bret Hart's shoulders alone. That dude was big, yo. He was bigger than Shawn Michaels. <laughs> like, with, like, when you just look at, like, the heftness to him, like, he's he was wider than Shawn Michaels. Um, okay, now... Let's just pick up. We're just going to go for it, man. I'm just going to pick them up at random. A figure that I was very, very happy to have. Very, very happy to have. Mr. Mean Gene Okerlund. Mean Gene Okerlund. Now, one thing that I want Mattel to start doing with these figures, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this came like this. This wasn't a build of Mean Gene. I didn't get any other figures. This was like a Walmart exclusive wave. And man, well, I tell you, I was so lucky to find it because we all know how Walmart is. Um, a lot of the times Mattel likes to do build a Howard Finkel, build an old school referee. Stop. Just just I don't understand why Mattel just won't release this stuff like it won't sell. Like, are you kidding me? I think a lot of fans would love to just have a referee without having to buy six other or four of the figures just to get the referee like people a referee would fly off the shelves trust me especially if they were able to make like earl hefner like if you were able to make specific referees that would fly off the shelves it would be that would be the most difficult referee figure to find ever trust me i have a howard finkel figure actually it's the tna one i think um is or was it the jacks one i don't know they made a jacks figure of him i i I think he refereed in, in in TNA. I could be way off, but uh, it's it's that ver it's the Jack specific version. But it just looks weird because he's like bigger than the wrestlers because Jack's figures were big. So it's like the referee from Jack's would only look good with the Jack's action figures. But no, like going back to what I was saying, Mattel needs to stop doing the build of this because I think they have a new build of Mean Gene, and it's like no nah, man, just bring Mean Gene out like this, bring Howard Finkel out like this. Um, 
I, I mean, the AEW figures do it. The um the AEW collection, they have a Jim Ross. They got uh Tony Schiavone and uh oh, what's the one dude's name? Oh, the dude with the mask, the commentator with the mask. I'm blanking on his name right now. But they 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 legit just have those. You don't have to buy other figures to build them. Just release them. I don't understand why that's a thing with Mattel. Um, next figure. This was one of my first figures. My first wrestling figure was uh my wife got me DX version of Shawn Michaels. One of my early figures that I got when I started collecting wrestling figures, I got him from Walgreens actually, was the homie Earthquake. I love, absolutely love this figure. Let me, uh, feel like it was going blurry a lot, man. I'm sorry about that, guys. I don't want to hurt nobody's eyes watching this video. Um, but yeah, man, this Earthquake, absolutely. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Um, one of my, gosh, I got this figure a couple years ago for my birthday when it came out. Um, this comma figure, by far, I think this is like the best one. I don't know why they didn't just use this body for the uh, Nation of Domination comma. Like, why? Why, Mattel? Why not just reuse this body? Like, this looks like, come on, this is him. Like they, they, this is, I mean, I guys, look, I can't express to you how dope this figure is. Anybody who owns it knows how dope it is. Now they kept the face scan. Of course, the, the, the hair is different. The face scan is actually, no, the face scan look a little different from the, I'm looking at the nation of domination one right now. No, nah, this face scan is different for what it's worth. All of the comma figures with all of the characters that he's had, it looks like him. This by far is the best one. I just don't understand why you wouldn't reuse this body and then just put the Nation of Domination stuff on them. I don't know why you would do that. Just saying. Uh, you know what? Let me put Fink in the... Or Mean Gene. I called him Finkel. Me, let's put Mean Gene in the center. Um, next, we're going to go with... Oh. Man, uh, to me, this is the best... The absolute best Undertaker figure that they have made. And just my just, just my opinion. Just my opinion. This is the defining moments Undertaker. I love it. I I love it. Best best Undertaker figure, man. Like, at least it's my favorite. It's 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 my favorite Undertaker figure. Um, let's keep this going. Oh. We need Mo. We definitely need Mo. Uh, he does come with the the crown, but I that's probably in my thing of accessories. But this was another figure that I was so happy to find. Mabel. I was so happy to find this figure, and I'm gonna tell you, I almost missed out on this figure because when this came out, and I believe it was another Walmart figure i don't think you could get this anywhere else um i saw it and i was like "Ooh, i want it like it's here and i ended up leaving and just not getting it even though i really wanted it i just ended up leaving and not getting it and i didn't see it for a while and i got so lucky because i saw it i think i got it from amazon i got it for amazon for about the same price i think it was maybe 26 dollars instead of like you know 20 but uh I scored big with this because a lot of the times, like exclusives that you find later online, man, it does not work out for you. Sometimes it just does not work out for you. Big man, Mabel, please don't fall. Please don't fall. Um, all right, then another figure I was very happy to get. This came with uh, China. It was a two pack, but. As my wife likes to call them, triple hemorrhoids. <laughs> but, um, triple H. I love this version of Triple H. Early DX Triple H. I love this, man. This soft goods right here. Like this, this is way better than the, they actually need to bring the 1995, what, 1995 uh version of Triple H. They need to kind of redo that. They they need to redo it. Because the soft goods, like, coat that he has, 
It just looks weird. Like I'm looking up at it now. It just looks weird. But this this Triple H right here, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. I got a lot of Triple H's. I got a lot of Razor Ramones. And I got a lot of Shawn Michaels. And I got a couple Diesels. And I got, I think I just got one, one, two, three kit. Um, do, 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 do. All right. Now, let's we'll start putting some people on the other side of the ring. Uh, actually, you know what? No, nope, one more. One more. One more for the. I'm trying to kind of do like a the heels, and then I'm gonna do the baby faces, even though they're kind of all about to be like mixed up. Um, got the ravishing Rick Rude. This one is my favorite um, that I have. Like this, this was one. I have two Rick Rudes, by the way. Um, I might have three. I want to get that Coliseum two pack one with uh, him and Jake the Snake. Those. Because they're ultimate figures. They look absolutely amazing. So we got the Ravishing Rick Rude. I love this ring attire. Love, 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 love this ring attire. Um, I like the robe too. This one just looks better than the other one. I, I would have brought that down for comparison. But yeah, that, that Rick. Oh, you know another figure I should have put in here? You know what? I think I am. Give me a minute. I'm going to have to get up again. Hold on. Hold on. Something made me... Something made me think of it. Something made me think of it. Mr. Wonderful. Mr. One. I was so happy when they re-released him. Because they came out with a Mr. Wonderful a long time ago where he wore the blue ring attire. And then they have a basic, which I do own. They have a basic Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Paul Orndorff uh, in his white gear. And then they had this in the Legends line, man. As soon as I saw it, I bought it. I did have to like mess with his uh, ankle. I was a little pissed about that. I had to um, do the hot water trick with his uh, ankle to get him to stand up good. But yeah, Mr. Wonderful. So we're going to add one. I wanted a Mr. Wonderful for a while. All right. Now we can start filling up this other side of the ring. Another early figure that I got when I first started collecting that I was very happy to have in my collection was JYD. The Junkyard Dog comes with the chain and everything. I actually wanted to get the new, um, they re-released uh, Junkyard Dog and uh, he had the King of the Ring stuff on. He had his red gear, was the original release. And then he's got his blue tights um, for the Chase figure, the Chase variant. Uh, but... Yeah, this is dope. This is dope. But I was never able to find that, man. That was a very, very tough figure to find. That junkyard dog for the, from that Legends line. That was very, very tough to find. It was, uh, I was annoyed. I was very annoyed by it. Um, and then, oh, listen, I have so many Hulk Hogan figures. I have, what, one, two, three, four. Hold on, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven Hogan figures. Three of them are NWO. One of them is like his early 2000s look. And then a lot of the, um, a lot of this version. But this is the ultimate Hulk Hogan. Uh, this is the Hulk Hogan that when they showed the pictures of this before this released, I was like, oh, absolutely. He's got the tan. The face scan is dope. This is just amazing. Best By far, this is the best Hogan figure that they've done. The best Hulk Hogan figure that they've done. Um, see, I knew it wasn't going to work, man. Like These, these guys are going to have to just start getting like mixed up. Uh, another early figure that I got that I was very happy to uh, get. I got him at walmart was doink the clown and i love this doink this is my favorite ring attire for doink this right here i love it he does come with three different wig styles you can have like his heel look his baby face look all that different stuff yeah this is dope there was one that they were selling at a record exchange by my house um they were selling it for like, gosh, 
damn near almost a hundred bucks because it was signed by the the one of the people that played Doink the Clown. Only, I think it was only two Doink the Clowns. Um, but yeah, crazy. I wasn't going to spend that much, so I was very happy I found that one at Walmart. Oh, another one of my favorite figures. Another one of my fa- he was one of my favorite wrestlers. Period. Tatanka. I mean, when they came out with this, when I tell you I got this immediately, I got this immediately. I didn't even wait for the stores. I didn't wait for the stores. I just got, I straight up just got this. I didn't wait to see it in stores. I was like, I don't even want to play that game. I was like, I don't even want to play that game with Tatanka because at that time, it was the that was the first one that they made. That was the first in the line. I do have the other Tatanka, his, uh, his early gimmick where he had the long, uh, like, white tights on. But yeah, I wasn't going to wait for that, Tatanka. Absolutely not. Um, my favorite Ultimate Warrior figure. This was in a Royal Rumble wave. I think it was a, a Target thing, but I think they also had them on Ring. I got mine from Ringside Collectibles, but I'm pretty sure this wave was at Target exclusively. There was only like four figures, but this Ultimate Warrior is dope. The only thing that annoys me is, as you can see, I don't, I'm missing those tassels right there. I don't like when they started making those where you could take them out. Makes no sense to me. Just mold them. You either, either mold them to where they stay put. I love that intercontinental belt, by the way. I love them to where like, you know, just have them stay put or do what Jax did and make them fabric. Jax actually has soft goods for those parts of uh, Ultimate Warrior's clothes. Um, let's see. The Undertaker, this was one because it's the old school Undertaker. This was one that I was very, very happy to get in my collection. Only thing I don't like is the black gloves. I like when he has the gray gloves. But still, nonetheless, this was an Undertaker that was a must-have for me because for a while I did not have an Undertaker like this. I had to wait until they uh, made another one. Um. Oh, and then I got to have my boy. I got to have my boy Stone Cold. So this is the ultimate version of Stone Cold. Face scan is dope. He's got the uh, the skull title, smoking skull belt. Yeah, this this Stone Cold is dope. I got quite a few Stone Colds too, man. I look, I got like what one, two, three, four, including when he's the ringmaster. I do have the ringmaster fig. All right. Now we getting into the now we getting into the good stuff. Well, all of it is the good stuff, but you know, <clears throat> I got a twofer. I do have a twofer. I, I will be getting another Hulk Hogan and Macho Man. Um, spoilers on what figure is next. I think I am gonna get that Mega Powers two pack. I got to, especially when you see you you you'll understand. See, I got Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth, she goes perfect with the Mega Powers wearing this, the, the red and yellow dress. And then this is the Defining Moments Macho Man figure. Great. Just, just great stuff, man. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put them in the ring. I'm just going to have, I'm just going to set them aside. But real quick, if I can just spotlight them by themselves real fast. I do have two Miss Elizabeths, but this one to me is the one of the best ones. I have the one in the green dress, which was meh. This one's better. It actually stands up better. Um, and then let's derobe Macho Man. So you can see his ring ring gear. I wish they would put different knee pads on them. I wish they would just kind of sculpt the knee pads or paint them and then just have the actual knee pad part like here, but just like paint or sculpt the other part of it because you can't bend the knees. I don't know why Mattel is so stubborn on like not changing that because I'm not the only person on YouTube that has actually said that before, just saying. Um, and some of you probably were wondering, where is this? person on my list man where how come you ain't talked about this person oh it's a couple people that y'all probably wonder why i haven't talked about they're they're coming they're coming all right so we down to four figs now 
Bret the Hitman Hart. This is the Target exclusive uh, uh, Ultimate Bret Hart. And he's got the all pink ring attire. One of my favorites that the Hitman has wore. So, yeah. He's got the removable glasses. All of that good stuff. So let's put Bret Hart back here. Now, I probably should have started in the back of the ring and then worked my way up, but I do things I do things my way. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. All right, then we got your boy, the Heartbreak Kid. This was actually a part of a wave at Walmart because I think you could build like a set. I think it. I think this was the one that had a Doink the Clown, a Razor Ramon, and somebody else. But yeah, look at that. Now, the reason why I like this version of Shawn Michaels is because it's pretty much is what he wore when he fought Razor Ramon um, at the latter match, WrestleMania 10. This is pretty much that ring, that ring gear. And it was, and it's you know it's the early Shawn Michaels. I like I like this Shawn Michaels. I like it. I wish they would have gave him like the pants too, his entrance stuff, but. They didn't. They just gave him the vest, but it's all right. It's it's quite all right. Uh, Shawn Michaels might fall. I feel like he's leaning. Um, the, the these last two figs, man. Spoiler alert: Shawn Michaels made this list three times. I got a lot of Shawn Michaels figures, man. I'm looking at them right now. Like outside of the three that I'm about to have in this video, I got <laughs> four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got, <laughs> I got, I like ten or twelve Shawn Michaels figures, man. <laughs> All right, uh, this is my favorite, man. What can I say? It's my favorite, and he wore so many different ring attires, man. You kind of got to get all of them. Uh, so this one is the one that recently came out. They brought uh the defining moments back. Had to pick up this Shawn Michaels, man. Royal Rumble 1997. Fighting Psycho Sid for the championship. I remember this match so well. But yeah, man. Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels makes the list yet again. And then, last but certainly not least. And I think I'm not the only one who shares this opinion. But this is, this is Shawn Michaels... At his finest. This is this is this is the best Shawn Michaels figure Mattel has ever made. It, it, is, is it fair for me to say that? When y'all see this figure, is it fair for me to say this is the best Shawn Michaels fig that you can get? This is an ultimate Shawn Michaels that was exclusive to Amazon. That fan takeover. Bam. My boy ODC helped me get this. Because I couldn't find the link. And he ended up sending me a link. Thank you, ODC. Because I was like, yo, I'm trying to look this up. And I didn't even reach out to him. ODC reached out to me and sent me the link. And I was like, oh, because he was like, it says, I think he when we were talking, he was like, it says sold out, but you can still order it. And once it comes in, like you'll get your, uh, you know, you'll you'll get it shipped to you or whatever. And I was like, cool. Yeah, ODC helped me get that, man. ODC helped me get a couple. He helped me get the uh the last Shawn Michaels, man, because I was about to mess up and not get it. Cause I was like, oh man, it's like back order. And I was like, oh no, I forgot you can still order it and blah blah blah. But yeah, so here we have it, man. In my huge wrestling collection, these are the figures that I am very happy that they made, that I'm very happy that they own, and they are some of my favorites. Now I have some. That I really love. Like, I love my Kamala, um, uh, my Honky Tonk Man. And that's also, I believe, a GameStop one from that line at GameStop that was exclusive for a little bit. Um, yeah, man. My Hollywood Hulk Hogan is the ultimate Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Like, yeah, I, the Rikishi figure. I got some honorable mentions. Yokozuna, I got, that was from the Target wave, um, the Hall of Fame wave. Uh, let's see. The oh my um gold dust, gold dust, 
And I was I, I should have put my boy in here, Razor Ramon. And you know what? Nah. You know what? I am gonna do it. Hold on. Hold on. I can't, I can't not have Scott Hall in here, man. Rest in peace. When he was when I when I was a kid, man, like Razor Ramon was that dude. And this was the one, this was this was a Razor Ramon from the Legends line. I believe this was the same wave that uh the Bobby Heenan was in and the Greg the Hammer Valentine. I can't remember the other figure that was in that wave with them, but yeah. Listen, man, I know this video was long. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but I haven't done a video like this in a long time, and I just wanted to showcase my personal favorite wrestling figures, the ones that I'm very happy that they ended up making. Um, I'm glad you guys stuck through it, man. Uh, let me know if, what you think and what are your, some of your favorite figures if you collect. Um, but yeah, man, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, this is your boy, Soul Drum 86 and I'm out. Peace.